Better Ways. Welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and I'm actually super excited to be starting um, this vlog. Actually, it's 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 mixed feelings about starting this vlog, but um, yeah, this is going to be ow, my Arizona vlog. As you can see, I got my hair done. I'm thinking I'm cute. Y'all, I got my hair done for the first time in years, and I also got my nails done. I don't even know if you can... Can you see that? I got my nails done for the first time in years. It ain't nothing special at all. Really short, really plain. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to come on really quick and start this vlog off. I'll be heading out to Arizona tomorrow. My flight leaves from Riley at like 6.30 in the morning. My flight is at 6.30. So of course I have to be out of here by like four-ish. Um, that way it's gonna take me an hour to drive out to Riley. And then it gives me an hour to check in and get through TSA and all that other good stuff so yeah I just wanted to start off now because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be way too irritated and too tired to start in the morning so I didn't really do much today at all I took a quick nap Mia's dad came to get her so he'll have her for the week that's one less kid I guess Angel had to worry about because she's gonna be watching the kids for me while I'm going on my trip I'll be going from the 5th to the 11th well tomorrow until the 11th so almost a week and y'all I have not packed anything I have not packed anything at all what I did today I went over to post what was that I went over to post to um, go on one of the little parking garages the top of the parking garage because I wanted to make a quick reel and by the time this video is out you if you follow me on Instagram you probably would already saw the reel of my car of my new car because y'all I'm so proud that I was able to buy a brand new car the exact one I wanted the exact color everything that I want in it's like I'm proud anyway so I started editing a video I still have to get one out hopefully I can finish that by tomorrow and then I had to pick Darian up from daycare I cleaned my car as well I had to clean my room I still have to finish cleaning my room and then I just got back from the grocery store because I had to go and grab a few groceries and stuff like that so today hasn't been what is that today hasn't been too eventful but um yeah I just I just gotta go on this trip y'all I'm telling you right now is it's bittersweet because the plan the original plan so one I don't have any plans anymore I don't have any plans for this trip of course I have my cousin out there I have my sister and my mom out there that I want to go and see but that wasn't my reasoning for going out there at first my reasoning for going out there is um to hang out with gosh so I was going out there to hang out with this guy that I kind of started talking to and when I say y'all I'm Okay, so I started dating just a little bit. And when I say, it is not going good. It's not going well at all for me. It's not going well. When I say, this is like, I'm about to go back to just being single and minding my business and not thinking about being on a dating train or anything like that because this, this, this shit is painful. It hurts. Like the original plan was, I guess it was gonna be me and like my sister, basically. My sister is in like basically a couples type of trip thing. And we we're gonna hang out and just have fun. And slowly but surely, I'm talking to this person and it was just so good. It was so nice. It was like the electricity between us was there. And then it just slowly started to fall off. And then I found myself like, double texting and triple texting and FaceTiming without a response, calling without a response. And I'm just like, uh no no i i've been called a little too many times now it's gonna it's time for you to reciprocate and it never happened it never happened so i'm going out there and i'm kind of irritated because it's a possibility that i'm gonna run into him and i just don't want to do that because he's still out there you know he still decided to take the trip um i guess he decided that i wasn't going to be a part of that trip anymore so yeah it was kind of bittersweet i low-key wasn't even gonna go um i low-key wasn't even gonna go anymore <laughs> i low-key wasn't even gonna go anymore i that and that's the reason that's the reason i haven't packed anything at all because i was really just laying in bed like i don't think i want to go on this trip but y'all i'm about to sound real stupid because i'm about to i'm about to sound real stupid because um I actually booked another trip to go and see him and he canceled that one as well so 
the reason I'm going is because I already wasted money canceling one flight. I have like, what, probably, they're gonna take money out of the ticket, so I'm pretty sure I only have $300 worth of credit with Delta now. And then I couldn't do the same thing this time around because then it's like, I'm just wasting money at this point and that would've been another 400-ish dollars wasted, so. Yeah, that's how I'm doing. But anyway, so I'm about to go ahead and get in here and start packing and stuff like that. I really should have went and got food. Let me think, is there something in there for me to cook? Man. I don't know if there's something in there for me to cook. I should have grabbed food if I don't feel like cooking. Ooh, wait, no. Ooh, okay. Yes, okay, there's stuff for me to cook. Actually, <laughs> I'm sorry, Angel is cooking soup. I keep forgetting, she's making soup. So let me go ahead and get in here. I have some of her ingredients. just made it to the airport and now I'm in a rush because I didn't want to park close to anybody because I don't want my car to get all dinged up um find my car freaking dinged up when I get back so now actually should I take these I'm gonna take these come on um yeah so now I'm just about to hurry up rush get in here I'm already checked in and everything I already got my tickets I don't have to check any luggage so I should be, I should be good. Dang it. So I should be good once I get down there. I just have to be down there in the next 20-ish minutes. Which we'll see. This, I don't even know how big this airport is. Honest, I don't even know which way I'm supposed to be walking. I don't want a blanket to drag on. Okay. So walking from like the back of the freaking parking lot all the way at the top. I have no clue which way I go to get down. But I'm thinking is this over here? I think this is the elevator. I hope that's the elevator. I think this is it. Yeah, I'm trying to find my way to the actual terminals at this point, and I have no clue where I'm at, and I should not be in this parking lot by myself, to be completely honest. Oh my gosh, okay. Wait a second, let me see. There's not an elevator right here, though. Um, is it over there? Or is this it? a look and see what I'm what I'm working with okay okay so I think I walked down this way Andrea hurry up you about to miss this goddamn flight okay I gotta remember hey Siri Where's my car parked? You'll need to unlock your iPhone for- Come on, please have location. Hey Siri, where's my car parked? Here's your car. Okay. 
Hey y'all, so I won't even lie, I low-key forgot that I was even vlogging, but I made it to Arizona. And I've been here for like what, a few hours now? Yeah. Say hi Maddie, say hi! <laughs> say hi! Y'all, I had to change out of my clothes. One, because uh, Maddie drooled all over them, uh, and then uh, she got hair all over them, and Maddie it's hot. Over everything. I'm at my mom's house. Say hi, mommy! <laughs> <laughs> we about to go get some food but first I need to update y'all on how this whole airport trip went because y'all know I always have to do that so hold on so I bought another one of these by the way because y'all know I love these anyway so Maddie get out the way get out the way so I go to the airport right and my flight was at 6 30 I had to turn around because when I forgot my camera so I had to go and get my camera so I can vlog. And so then I was running like 15 minutes behind. So I'm speeding to the airport. I get there and y'all, I got 15, no, I had like five minutes to get to my gate. Like once I made it through um, TSA and everything, I had like five minutes to get to my gate. So I'm walking and it's like a five minute walk because basically they were saying I had to be on the plane 15 minutes prior to the plane taking off because they were gonna close the doors. Y'all, I'm walking and I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I got four minutes. I took, I had these shoes on. I took my shoes off. And when I say I'm running through the airport like a crazy person with my shoes off, I'm like, fuck, 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 just running. And I finally made it. Had to check my bag. Why does this look like that? Had to check my bag and everything. But other than that, the flight was fine. Got here safely. Um, my brother-in-law came and picked me up from the airport. And now we're about to go and get something to eat. And what else are we doing? Huh? What else are we doing? Uh, what are you telling? <laughs> we're going to get some food. Well, she want to put some gas in the truck. We're about to go get some yeah, food. food yeah. Oh, we need to stop and get Maddie some snacks. Yeah, some snacks. yeah we're going to stop and get Maddie some snacks. Um, but yeah, I need to change my clothes because, I mean, y'all already know. I walk around looking just like this. I'm used to being half naked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> but I'm about to change my clothes real quick so we can go. You too scared to drive the truck? What part of I have a little Hyundai Sonata? Well, I had a Hyundai you Sonata. You ain't drove one of them and honeys yet? Bro, I've been all in those vehicles. Them army honeys, some army vehicles, y'all get. That's different. Do I look like I'm in uniform? I am a princess right now. <laughs> Girl, ever since I've been driving that rig, I ain't been wanting to drive nothing else small. I can't drive nothing that's big. I'm glad my car have all the cameras they have on it now, because I'd be bumping into Man, everything. me and Mike was like, every time we got out that damn rig and got in our car, we felt like we were literally in a like a go-kart. <laughs> you feel like you just so low. And he'd be like, damn, I can't see shit. What's the hold up up there? I'm like, that don't matter. We just gotta sit here and wait or decide to take another route. That'd be the only fine. thing. You can't see nothing. You know what? Let me put this in that room too, because I don't trust Maddie. No. Everything you want to stack it up, if you might want to put it in the room, go close. I feel like I won't need these shades, or I might. No, you I think I'm ready. Oh, that's cute. I like them big crazy Where did I get these from? These came from Burlington. Wait, Ross? It was either Ross or Burlington. Oh, uh, is she peeing? She just peed. I'm about to get a whooping. You better be whooping. Oh, you pee pee on the floor? You don't pee pee on the floor. That's why I was so glad. I made sure I found the place that was on the first floor and didn't have carpet in none of the rooms. First of all, let's get into these arms that's finally starting to form. Look at that. Mm. I need to get a shirt. Flex. Let's go. Are you recording? Yeah. On your blog? Yeah. Girl, you better cut me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> My mama's 
sexy, y'all. You better cut me out of this. You have been to say the wrong thing that's around with you. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay, I'm you ready? So I can't believe how you and Maddie came in here with all these leaves. Maddie came in here with all those leaves. I need to return this freaking book to school. My glasses still in the truck. Oh, let me see. Maddie, I don't want no mess out of you, okay? Do you need to go out and potty and poop? No. I already know I'm probably gonna come back to a surprise. We already understand. Which way? We going to I'm gonna go out the back because then she'll be this way barking. And once she don't smell me no more, just shut the heck up. Let's see. Oh, give me some of that. It smell good. That's that um uh, that one, but I got this in here. What's that? All my other perfumes and stuff. A lot of it's still packed down. And stuff. I want this one. This smells good. I need to unpack lights. Oh. Oh, sweet puppy, you're not going giant puppy. If she don't get out this door, messing with this dog. I have no clue where we're about to go. But we about to go somewhere. Uh, what are we eating? What do you want to eat? I don't care, I just want food. You want to cook something or stop and get something? Wait, say again. You want to cook something or stop and get something? We can cook something later, but I'm gonna stop and get something. You got chapstick in your car? You got chapstick in your car? Car Max, something. I think I got lip gloss, but I actually got my comments in here and I'm gonna need it too. Cause my lips dry. Let's go get something for my lips. <laughs> no. Darion asked me why he couldn't sit in the car by himself. And I told him, he was like, I'm not gonna touch nothing. Maddie, get out this room. I said, it's not about you touching nothing. I'm gonna get judged by other parents if I just leave my kids in the car. <laughs> for one, he's 11. He's 11. For two, he think he he's grown. a big boy and he's responsible. And I will still get judged by the other moms. Get them other get, moms. Get back. The past will probably lame anyway. Come, come, mother. Come, come. So I can tell you why my heart is broken. I <laughs> Okay. Okay. My lips be so dry, y'all. I miss Arizona so much. Look at this sun. Look at this weather. Oh, my lips are so dry. Now, huh? Part part. I'm the realest. Like, I'm not pushing this car. That's what I'm saying. Kitty, kitty. Oh. This girl had a cat in a bag at the airport. This is a 24 karat gold. Ooh, that's cute. This one? Yeah. What y'all need a big truck like this for? Oh, I'm so hungry. Uh, mommy went into the store and she needs to come out because I'm dying of starvation. I don't even know if I'm hungry. Actually, yes I am. I literally only eaten hash browns today and it's about to be two o'clock. So I need some food in my system. I'm thinking I want a burger or something. But I also want to go and get some groceries so I can cook tonight. And I don't know. I don't know. I want some gummies. I feel like I need some gummies too. And I don't understand. Like people usually have candies or something like why is there no gummies in here? People usually have candy in the car, and she don't have no type of candy in this car. Don't <laughs> You got in trouble. You got in trouble. Why wow, are you trying to sit over there? You got to come back and eat <laughs> You pooped on the floor. You pooped on the floor and you ate mommy's caramel. I don't caramel. even care about the poop on the floor. It's her ass messing with shit that she ain't gonna be messing with. Sit. 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 She's a working breed dog. Sit. 
Good morning, guys. It's the next day. We didn't do much yesterday. We went and got some groceries. But tell me why I just turned on the stove. And I let it preheat. And there is dishes and pots in the stove. Now, why she didn't tell me this is how she store her stuff? Because normal people put things in the cabinet. My bad. <laughs> I put it in the stove so I can always go with my pots and stuff. Don't make no sense. I'm trying to make some breakfast. I found these onto fries and I found some chicken breakfast sausages. I'm about to try some of those. I'm about to make some eggs and I think that's all I'm about to have because I'm actually hiking up Camelback Mountain this morning. I don't even know who drunk dropping me off. I don't know who going. Everybody want to be flakers. So I'll probably just end up going by myself, which is fine. But I uh, Say hi. Say hi. But, um, I was about to say, Maddie, you distracted me. Ma! What? Why you got this stuff in the oven? Let me turn this oven off. Just pull it out and sit it on the counter. Well, right it's here. probably hot now. I usually have to pull it off. Because you know my bag behind. <laughs> it's not that hot. And why you got all this cast iron stuff like you know what to do with it? Girl, this for when I go out on the No, on you come with heavy. That's like a blunt object. Don't make no sense. <laughs> that thing is so heavy. Why am I in the second? Now, why do you have this? Because that's going to be like my arm. Uh, I know this ain't this one. No, well, I need to wash it. I must have dried all the way off. What? It's a blunt. That's a blunt object. No sense. That is so. You heavy. know, the, the, the lid itself is a weapon to protect myself. That's what I got it for, because I, I cook in the ground. I dig a hole in the ground. She I, really got all these dishes in this oven. <laughs> and I pack my wood in there, and I make my fire, and that's how I cook. And this will hold the flame perfect for me to do real dishes over or open the fire. So and we just collectively decided that it was a good idea to store it here. Got it. And if a coyote come while I'm out there, I could use the <sighs> now I can put my sausages in the freaking oven. Anyway, what was <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, I'm only about to make some sausages and eggs for myself this morning and um, head out because I asked my bruh-in-law if he wanted to go, but he said yes, but I doubt it. Get down. Why? No, because you're in trouble because you pooped on the floor this morning. Sit. 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 She's only eight months, y'all. She's eight months. And she's this big. Eight months. Anyway, so yeah, I'll probably end up going by myself, which I'm kind of irritated because... No. Okay. Sit. 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 Good job. Stop. Sit. Good job. Good job. So... <laughs> y'all my <clears throat> uh, anyway so yeah i'm irritated because i didn't bring my backpack i have this little black backpack that i like to hike with it's like super little and i put like my water and stuff in there i put my speaker my phone and stuff in there but no, i don't know so. but yeah I'm about to go ahead and finish making this food real quick so I can get ready to go because I'm dropping my niece off at daycare. Oh, well, I'm dropping my niece off at school first and then we're going to head off to the mountain. So. 
get up, stretch my legs. Know if my sausage is good. Wash my teeth up, wash my face. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Start my day. Wake up, get up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go. See the sun shining from the windows Okay, I know that today will be a good day Okay, I know that today will be a good day A, B, C, one, two, three Drink some water, brush my teeth Get out of bed and I stretch Bed in my hair is a mess Look through my clothes for a fit Anything I do is drip I don't even think I'm halfway there, honestly but making it probably got like an hour to go. Anything I do is drip. Feel like a kid when I'm tick tock, and I still keep it real as it is. I show my age, I don't switch often. I'm just as a dad as a kiss. Try taking naps with my kids, talking. I'm guessing this life how it is, and I can't wait for the weekend. Keep jammies on like I'm a kid. Yeah. Wake up. All right, guys. So I made it to the top of the mountain, and I met a friend. Introduce yourself. E4, Arshawn Douglas. <laughs> Y'all, it took me about an hour and a half to climb up this mountain. I found him halfway up. He was talking about he didn't want to come all the way up. He only, he ha you never been up here, have you? <laughs> but it's so pretty. And I don't know how I'm about to get down. Y'all, I cannot go because I literally was coming up here by myself. Because all my friends like out on me. But it's cool. Now we about to sing a little bit. And then go back down. A good day. Feel good. Feel great, can't complain. Look out my window, see birds and planes. Sun's out, some clouds, it might rain. Siblings on my nerves, on my nerves again. Summertime go for a swim, wintertime go grab a sled. Spring, I might need an umbrella. Fall back. Hey Battle Bays, so after the hiking trip, I actually stopped vlogging because as I predicted, this trip was not it for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish in a quick little voiceover with some clips that I took, starting with um, the little brunch that me and my brother ended up having. My sister was working pretty much most of the time I was there, so I was spending a lot of time with my brother. And so we went to this cute little place called The Lola. And when I say the food, the drinks, the vibe, it was so nice and I was so appreciative of him. After that, we did end up having a little night out again. I went with my brother and we ended up meeting up with some old friends and find out it's me in a high rise luxury apartment. I mean, it's not my apartment, but you know, you remember that guy? Yeah, I ended up meeting up with him too. I mean, it was nice in the moment, but we're not gonna talk about that. I spent a lot of time with my sister as well, finally, when she got some time off work, so I really enjoyed that. We ended up going back to the Lola. I took this cute ass picture right here, so get into it, get into it. Um, but we ended up going grocery shopping because we wanted to cook for our mom and stuff like that, so this is just us acting a fool. Y'all know me, I act a fool in public, and it wouldn't be the same if my whole entire gang didn't do the same thing. <laughs> bars anyway so yeah this is just us acting a fool in walmart you know being all cute and whatnot so we're gonna run it back again with the alcohol to know me is to know 1800 used to be my shit but yeah we doing just a little bit of turning up in the car because my brother actually surprised me with some little dark tickets so this is the turn up in the car i think me and my sister was listening to for everybody by cash doll how do you pronounce her name? I don't know. Anyway, just know we was turned up or whatever. That's our shit. That is our song. You can't tell us nothing. But the concert was really fun. It was really nice. But I'm going to tell you right now. I thought, I thought I was going to pop hot on my next UA. I thought I was going to go back to work. Be immediately drug tested, which I was. But I thought I was going to pop hot. Because when I say everybody in this concert was smoking every single person it seemed like in this concert was smoking i'm like i couldn't even get a breath of fresh air because you step outside and people outside even smoking like dang is this how y'all civilians getting down now anyway the concert was really nice and at the end he ended up letting people up well he called people on the stage so they can compete in like a dance contest for money and look at this if i would have known all i had to do was get on the stage and jump around and look crazy 
I would have been in the front row because I can do that. Probably would have even shook some ass. The next day, we ended up going to this little French fry fest. Literally, that's what it's called, a French fry fest. And it was all right, but this is me complaining because um, it's called a French fry fest. Explain to me how your main attraction, what the festival is all about. That one item is subpar at every booth. It was ridiculous. It was The food was not good, but it was still good vibes. It was like a lot of nice people. It was super low key. The next, actually later that day, my bad, the later that day, we ended up finding a state fair. So we went to the state fair. That was really nice too. They had a lot of animals and stuff like that. My niece was having a lot of fun. Um, I wish I was able to do a little bit more than what I did, but whatever. I just wanted to touch the animals a little bit more. They did have this big snake that for whatever reason my sister was scared of. I was able to find my funnel cake because listen, that's the one thing I was looking for. My funnel cake and my freaking turkey leg, y'all. That freaking turkey leg, I could not find it. Anyway, again, super nice crowd, a super nice vibe. And then they had a bunch of rides and stuff like that that we didn't get on because we had my niece with me. But guess what? I found my turkey leg. I found my turkey leg. They also had mos monster trucks. I called them monster cars and somebody like low-key cussed me out. But they had a little monster truck situation going on. And that was my first time actually seeing the monster trucks. Now, maybe I don't necessarily know how monster trucks work. But was this a competition? Were they like competing? I just, I just, I was just there for the thrill of it, to be completely honest. But other than that, I mean, it was fun. It was a little loud but it was a nice time and just like that my trip was over and i feel like i was better off without it because i felt like i left more stress than i did coming there but that just goes to show i need to make sure that individuals that are no longer in my circle i keep out of my circle because they were never meant to be there in the first place if you have any comments concerns anything leave it down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe we have a goal of hitting 10k this year Obviously, I'm kind of all over the place with it, and I apologize for that. I really do. But listen, I'm going to get back to the grind, okay? Just go ahead, subscribe, be with me alone a ride. It's a little bit mentally insane over here, but we'll make it through.